Okay, Simon Dalit. Uh, so we'll do the first uh, the first sif today, but let me just give a bit of uh, hakdama, um, important hakdama. There's a machlokus why are we wash until the sudayim. Why, when we wake up in the morning, why do we wash until the sudayim? So the it's machlokus we've shown, and the mishmar is going to make reference to it. The rosh says because our hands run clean, i.e., we touch parts of the body which are normally uh, covered. The rosh gives a reason we're bria chadasha, we're in creation. And other reasons given is because of uh, the Ruach HaTumah, which comes down to a person during the night time after he slept, etc. So there are enough kaminas between them. So for example, if a person wears gloves, so if a person wears gloves, then he hasn't touched a part of the body, which is normally covered because he's wearing gloves. So if that's the reason, they shouldn't need to wash until it's a dime. But if the reason is that it's a new day and therefore he's a new day of a like a Kohen coming to this English, then he would have to wear gloves. So that's an example of nafkmin, if a person stayed away from that, and he hasn't touched a part of the body which is normally covered. So these, these will be nafkmin. So if you bear in mind the various reasons why Russia is Islam, you'll see a lot of this see that this simon will uh, will be a lot clearer. But let's see, the Mishabur himself gives this hakdom. <coughs> so uh, says the says the Mishnabur, Yirchat Yadov, Yesh Azesh Neit Amin. So let's sorry, the Mahabha starts off, Yirchat Yadov Yvarchan to the stand. A person washes his hands and says in the Sudan, says the Mishnah Bura, Yesh al Zeshne Ta'amin. There are two reasons, two main reasons which uh, we give for the Sudan. Harosh Kosa, the Rosh writes that the Shuradaim should Adam Askon Yasin. A person's hands literally are busy. It's impossible a person you know, sleeps the whole night, but he's not going to touch parts of the body which are normally covered. And therefore, he, in fact, in the first footnote in the Dirshu, he says, So if a person wears gloves at night, and therefore he hasn't touched a part of the body which is normally covered, because of the Birhalocha, so if, 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 if we'll see that we're going to be machna for both shittas, which means we always wash our hands, but sometimes we'll do so without a bracha. So if a person wears gloves the whole night, then he'll have to still wash them to the sadaim because the choshish for the other reason, but he'll do so without a bracha. For harashba, continuing the Mishnah Burah, this is the second reason. For harashba, because of the fisha b'shachar acha hashena, for in the morning after, so we've had a night's sleep on the Nasim Kabriya Chadosha, we considered like a new creation. And therefore, we give thanks to Kaddish Baruch who has created us afresh, and therefore we make a bracha. Therefore, therefore, all the brachas that we make in the morning. We wash our hands from a cleave, from a, from a cup. Like a kain washes his hands from the kier um, before he does the avoid in the English. But halacha, on the taifsim kushnei ha in the chumra in the tila. And therefore, we take on the chumra, both reasons of the rosh, which is we've touched parts of the body which are normally covered uh, for cleanliness. And number two, the rashba, we've, we're like a, a new bria. Interesting, in the, in, in the number three, the bria halacha, he says, What if you have a shluf in the afternoon? Right? So if you've had a shluf in the afternoon, then according to the reason of the rush, you've covered, you've touched part of the body which could which is normally covered. So you should wash your hands. According to rush, but it's not a new day. So again, if you, the Chazal say if you had a shluf for half an hour, you should wash your hands. But again, you do it without a bracha. We're, we're, we're for both reasons. Oh, we're going to come down in a second. We're going to come down in a second. If for whatever reason a person washed his hands, we didn't make a bracha before shachris, so then you don't make the bracha after after shachris. So he says in front of four, the chayodim explains that tefillah is in carbon. The tefillah is in lieu of carbon. You got to do it before the avoda. Once you've done the Aveda, it's too late. And so therefore, to make up after the Tfilah, you don't, you don't make the Brocha. It means that after the Shemun Esra, that's what it means. But the point before that, 
I suppose it's still shy. But this is it. Okay, so let's let's uh, continue the mechaba. So the mechaba says in Sif Aleph in Simon Dalit, Yirchatz Yadov has Moshe's hands be very chanut to the Sudaim. The Yesh Omim Gam Ashe Yotza. He also says Ashe Yotza. But Filu Le also Tzarchov. Even if he didn't go to the bathroom, Vachem uh, Naji. So let's go to Mishnah Bura. Let's go back to Sif Kotte to Sif Kotte and Gimel in the Mishnah Bura. Gam Ashe Yotza. Because, because in the morning you become like a new entity, a new creation. But from the creation of the body. There are other reasons why Chazal will misak on this bracha, but I'm back for it. Because of our prima godim, the lefiat tam the bria chadash, according to the reason that we're a new creation. If a person was up the whole night, the oz loy nasa kabriya chadash babayka. You're not becoming a new creation in the morning. You, you, you've been up all night. Ain yochel levarach hashe yotza. You don't make a bracha hashe yotza. Im loy asu tzarchov unless you went to the bathroom. Yeshoimrim dim hish dim hish dim belayla. If a person wakes up in the night and goes to the bathroom, yuchel lis mechel inyan bruch hashe yotza la hashe yotza the shachris. You can. Rely on the ashayotza that you're going to make in the morning, but tzarich in the dinner. Now we'll come back to that. Gam b'pamim rabbi sikr shabbai kim mishteke oipam natalas meyaglaim. Now often, even if you wake up at the, three o'clock in the morning and you went to the bathroom, and then you wake up at six o'clock, seven o'clock in the morning, and you need the bath. Many times you'd need the bathroom again. It's not very normal to need the bathroom again. But layuchul lachol oit brechas ashayotz to wake up zuat alad laila. And therefore, you want the rule is with ashayotz as we'll see in Hashem. How long does the Ashayotza bracha, how long can you say it for? You go to the bathroom, uh, I don't know, at uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. And then at 11 o'clock in the morning, whereas, hey, I didn't make an Ashayotza, can you still make it? The answer is you can still make it so long as you don't need the bathroom again. So therefore, if you, at 11 o'clock in the morning, you don't need the bathroom, so I can say Ashayotza still. But if you're on the way to the bathroom, you need the bathroom again, you think, hey, I didn't say Ashayotza last time, then it's too late. So then you go to the bathroom, and then the Ashayotza covers you on the one you just been, and then the previous one. So if you wake up at three o'clock in the morning and you need the bathroom, you've got to estimate. Well, if I need the bathroom again when I wake up at six o'clock in the morning, so then I say Ashi at three o'clock in the morning. And again, when I wake up uh, for the day, that's what I'm saying. But the Chamma Sinan Zayim, Mishnah Bura, Sif Kotn Aleph. Okay. The Yerusha Maim, Yachme Alatzmai. What should the Yerusha Maim do? Well, I just described. The Yitzel Yod of Yilbash Mechem Sayim, Yachme Rashad, Dabal Hatsu, Ben Nel Erebo. You wake up in the middle of the night and you go to the bathroom. Make sure you're dressed properly. If you're wearing pajamas, there's no problem. And then you wash your hands, and then you shout Make sure you're not too close. You know, back in the day, there were chamber pots in the times of the Holy time. He's writing, you know, you'd, you'd, you'd relieve yourself in a pot in the corner of the room or something. So then, make sure you're away from the the ovich and the nowadays it's not a concern. If you don't have a special a special pot for this, you can add some mortar in to take away the revius uh, to take away the Okay. Um, then the mission was received cotton ballot. So we said even Leos of If a person wants to avoid any doubt, he You wake up in the morning, you wash Negovasa. And then you go to the bathroom, and then after you've relieved yourself, you wash again and you make ashiyatza. And that way you fulfill your obligation according to everyone. But don't make the tira sudayim until you've done the second time. After you come out of the bathroom, especially if you needed the bathroom the first time around. So then you don't make the bracha when you can't make a bracha if you need the bathroom. Because you're not allowed to make a bracha then. The 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 Take a look at, at uh, footnote 8 in the Dirshu. Omnom, he says, If someone is up the whole night, according to the reason of the Rashba, guys awake the whole night, 
According to the reason of the Rashba, Shechiv Tivehu Mishum Sheos, Shana Sabriya Chabosha, he's become a new creation. Yesh Little Vivilavarech. According to the Rashba, Mishum Shaloi Plugger, you should still make the bracha. Why? Because even though you, you've been up on that, you're not a new creation, they say, according to Rashba, because Le Plug Rabbon, and Chazal made the Le Plug across the board. Obi Halacha, I shan't pass the time, they say, Bishim Rashba, he gives another reason in the name of the Rashba, Shahabrochi Al Chidush Elam. The Broch of Asher Yotze is not just on the creation of you as a new entity, but on the creation of the world. Even though you didn't actually, you didn't get the benefit because you've been awake all night. Okay, and the Lagabi Broch is Lakhan Shama. What about Lakhan Shama? Your Neshama hasn't left you. So he says, uh, if, you're, if you're awake all night, it's possible to come on in the name of Elia Rabba Shaloh Yavarich. However, the Prima God in the Shari Tshuva uh, leave it with Sarah and and then the best thing to do is to hear it from somebody else. Let's just finish off. Um, it says the Mechaba, the end of Sif Aleph, Mayim HaPsulim, top line, Mayim HaPsulim, Tzvesudayim the Suuda, Kasheim Tzvesudayim the Tzvila. The Mayim, which are no good to wash when it comes to a Suuda, they are okay to wash your hands for Tzvila. Miu yesh mi shayme delo mevarich halai that you shouldn't make a bracha on them. Says the Mishnah Berurah, Sif Kotzen Hey Simon Kosanach behind Mayim Shenishtanu Marei. What sort of water are we talking about? They've changed their appearance, so they look different. They're they're, they're discolored. Einasu b'hem melacha. You've done work with it. For example, you washed your car with it. You washed up. That water is not good for netila sudaim for suda, but it's okay for tefila. They're salty or dirty. They're okay for tefillah. The can that's so correct, Mishum Makias Balma, for tefillah that may be washed up and there's some water in the washing up bowl. But it's still okay, it's still clean. So that will be sufficient for tefillah, but not for suda. The Loma Varech and the lots of Loma Alnatin is Loma on the Kias Yudain. Rak, you say on the Kias Yudain. Okay. A lie of Achrin and Mechir, the Yuchal Varech Alnatin as Yudain, but I'm the common to see Zion and Mishum Burr, see Cotton Tensai. Okay, we'll say it, we'll leave it there. Okay, have a good day, everyone. Thank <laughs> <laughs>